Hello everyone, I'm Alexander from VFX Graphics and today I will show you how to create awesome and realistic refraction in After Effects and Element 3D. More precisely, how to generate refract internal parts inside a 3D object. As we need to precompose some layers, please download free script 3D Precompose and 3D Model, which we have to work with. Link in description below this video. So, let's go! First, open Scene Interface Element 3D and import our 3D model. Yeah. Apply standard physical glass material, click Environment and increase UV Repeat. And our model start look more brilliant. Let's make the color to blue. Great. Don't forget create a new camera, with which we will see our 3D object from all sides. Choose our main layer and apply 3D Precompose script. Check link properties and rename this layer. It is necessary for Z depth. Duplicate the main element 3D layer. Temporarily turn off Z depth composition. Go to the duplicate main layer and click Invert Normals. OK. Awesome. Forget the right transparency, go to our Z depth composition and choose output mode Z depth. Increase start and. yeah, great. Go back to our main composition, put up our comp above the layer element 3D and switch track mode to Luma inverted. Yeah, you can see our transparency. For correct values, adjust again the depth start and. For example, 1020. Also, you need to change this element 3D layer to screen mode. Go to render settings and adjust exposure and gamma. Turn off track mode and duplicate main element 3D layer. Then switch mode to normal. Nice. Reduce opacity to... I think 69 will be enough. So now I will put the logo inside this star. Don't forget mark your logo as 3D layer. Now all we have left to do is create refract internal parts inside 3D object. So, precompose our picture. OK. If your logo don't have alpha channel, you can use Luma K effect. Choose key out brighter. For fix these white lines, I use simple choker. OK, cool. So, Z depth. Oh, it's too dark. We need decrease to 440, I think will be good. This comp will take a name logo. OK, next. For refraction, we need create adjustment layer. Rename and apply effect displacement map. For next, we need to create a duplicate composition with data. How refract our picture inside 3D object. Duplicate element 3D layer and launch 3D precompose script. I will take a name normal. Go to this comp, next scene setup and disable invert normals. OK. In output we need to choose show normals. Nice. So here hide this composition and turn on our refraction layer. Go to the effect controls and choose out normals layer in displacement map. And we can see already see the very cool refraction over logo in this glass star. For more beauty, let's get add glitter inside object. Take and isolate this 3D layer. Go to the scene setup and create new group with cube and apply material chrome. And next we need place cubes inside the star for repeat shape our 3D star. To do it, you need to choose the same groups in two objects. In the star object in group parameter, change icon to circle. 
So it was group number 2 and we need to replicate this object. Choose shape 3D object. Also you can adjust percentage. I think it will be enough. For more accurate view, increase shape scale and adjust surface offset. Rename this layer, for example, Blinks. It will be fine. Then go to Element 3D Z Depth Composition, turn on Preserve Alpha. And for Blinks layer, apply effect is called Set Matte. And here choose Z Depth. It's need for alpha cuts off. For more contrast and brightness, increase exposure and decrease gamma. Set this add or I think multiply will be better. Alright, I hope there are a lot of interesting things you can do with it. Thank you for watching, I'm Alexander from VFX Graphics. Welcome to our website, you will find a lot of interesting stuff for your project. Subscribe for receive free After Effects template every monthly. See you next time!